Futopiai episode 7. Now, let's count your scenes. We see Tokime, Akiko and Ryu in the agency when Ryu tells the two that Mosoto has been murdered. Ryu asked Akiko why now Shotaro and Philip needed to pick up mushrooms in this blizzard. Akiko tells them that Philip used Shotaro's nature for helping people to come with him to pick up mushrooms. We see Shotaro and Philip walking in the blizzard for a while until they see something that looks like a building. When they rush to it, it appears to be abandoned. But to their luck, a woman comes in helping them out with warm towels and trying to give them a place to stay for shelter until the end of the blizzard. When she brings them in, she requests from them to not tell anyone that they saw her face. She asks the master of the resident if the two can come in, he asks from her to bring them in. When they come in to the main room, we see seven people wearing masks and drinking booze. Shotaro and Philip are confused about the entire situation. Philip believes that this is a masquerade party, but the master says that he's incorrect. Shotaro uses his detective skills to find out that this is a fox wedding. The master of the resident tells him that he is correct. Then he requested the two to introduce themselves. He does the same. The man comes from a very wealthy family. Both of his parents died when he was young, so he was raised by his grandmother. He tells the two that he uses the mask to find a bride, not for her look, but for her personality. He uses the mask for hiding his facial expressions. He welcomes the two in, but he requests from them to also wear a mask. Funnily enough, the mask is trigger and luna colored. Shotaro and Philip get to sit down to eat dinner when a masked bando comes in to greet the two under a different name and he tells them that he's a good friend of the resident master. When he leaves the room, he's very giddy for being in the same place as Kamen Rider Double. At night, Shotaro walks down the hallway until he meets the same woman that let them in. She starts warning him about something, but she stops herself and runs away. Shotaro tries to run after her, but he hears a big explosion. He goes outside and he sees one of the four contestants impaled on a tree, and the dopant that did that, gleeing there is one less contestant. He tries to attack Shotaro, but he escapes with the help of Philip with the memory gadgets. They transform and they start fighting the dopant. In the middle of the fight, we see something wet get on the double suit, and suddenly something explodes, but luckily they survive the explosion with the help of the heat memory. Philip deduces that the dopant they are fighting is the alcohol dopant, with its inability to feel pain and the reason to cause the explosion, but they can't finish it off because it runs away. Toron and Philip start an investigation inside the resident, interviewing everybody there. From the three last contestant, the master, his grandma, their butler, the masked Bonda, to end this episode. This episode was a great opening for this murder mystery. We didn't got it a lot in double, but that's really cool. The idea that the dopant is the uncle dopant is actually something that I never thought that's going to happen in double, but hey, <laughs> because of that we have a very much gratuitous, violent, and sexualized animes for it. I'm kind of getting upset that we are just seeing Ryu as a supporting player and we don't really see him as Axel and in action. Like I understand like he is a, in a very high position in the Futo Police Department, but I would like to see, you know, Kamarada Axel in action because we do see him in the intro. Because it kind of gets annoying because as a Kamarada Axel fan, I would like to see him more. And And they did kind of the funny joke of Akiko writing in probably what would be a Tokime's journal that her husband is a bike and Tokime doesn't really understand that Axel can actually turn into a bike. So I would like to see Tokime's reaction, at least for that. I don't know. Let's hope that we're going to see it. So yeah, but it's still a very solid episode. 
Uh, we are coming close to the end of the season. I'm kind of getting upset more and more that it is just 12 episodes and it's not an entire season, but the manga is still continuing on and on. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, legitimately a very interesting plot. Kind of interesting who is going to be the dopant and how Bonda just came into the place and what's his connection to the master's family. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it for you to like, subscribe and even comment down below what you think about this episode. So yeah, let me bid you all adieu. Have a nice great evening, a nice great uh, continuation of the day or good morning. Thank you very much. Have a great one. <laughs>